In a new study out just today, scientists say their thinking behind the Palos Verdes fault zone in L.A. and Orange counties may have been wrong, and they now believe it's capable of producing a magnitude 7.8 earthquake. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia joins us live with the latest. Sid. We are in Redondo Beach, and this is a fault line that runs from the Santa Monica Bay all the way down to Dana Point. And when you talk to folks along the coast this morning, are they concerned? Yes, but also it's a reminder of being ready because we are an earthquake country. And as you mentioned, this new study says the fault can trigger a large quake. Now, according to the Harvard study, they've named it the Palos Verdes Fault Zone. It runs nearly 70 miles along the Southern California coast. This particular fault line has the potential to produce a quake as big as what the San Andreas Fault can produce. Now, according to the study, this Palos Verdes Fault could produce a quake as strong as 7.8. The Northridge quake was 6.7, and the recent Ridgecrest quake, that was a 7.1. Along the Redondo Beach Pier here, just about everyone we spoke to heard about the new study, and some told us this is a reminder to be earthquake ready. Well, I did hear the story on Channel 7 this morning, and I thought, what? <laughs> um, a study from back east about us, which I thought was interesting. But we need to make sure we have our earthquake insurance up to date. We need to make sure we have all those, uh, the water for three days, the canned goods, because no one will be able to help us for, for that amount of time. I've been through two, the Silmar quake and the Northridge quake here in Redondo. I survived them both, and I didn't have a whole lot of water in the refrigerator and stuff like like that so I'm thinking unless it's a 10 in which case uh, the building will fall down and it won't make any difference to me so I, I'm not too worried about preparedness actually and some of the areas that the fall line runs under the ports of LA and Long Beach and again talking to people here today are they surprised no we live in earthquake country but they said it is a reminder to make sure your earthquake insurance is up to date and you've got at least three days of supplies of water and food just in case we're hit with another big one. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.